Hello, this is Claude White, and I do have week four NFL picks. Now, as we know, the bye week is here. It's a little early, right? But it is the fourth week of the season, and the Redskins and the Panthers are on their bye week. Now, the Thursday evening game, we'll have the Minnesota Vikings going up against the L.A. Rams. Um, you already know I'm not a big fan of Kirk Cousins. Jared Goff is a, I'll, I'll give him a B-plus quarterback. He doesn't have the arm strength that I like, but running the type of offense that they run, and especially having a great running back like Todd Gurley, I think the Rams are top to bottom right now the best team in the NFL. They have the quarterback. They have the running back. They have a good receiving core. They have, a, they have the best defensive lineman in the sport. It all sets up for a win. And listen, I understand that Minnesota was embarrassed by Buffalo. And prayers going out to Mr. Everson Griffith. I hope everything is well with him. But um, the Vikings are going to have a... I mean, they have the short week. They had a rough week. I don't see them bouncing back against this team. They will play a lot better. But the Rams, from top to bottom, are a better team. And I see them winning here. I'm going to say Rams 27, Vikings 17. Now, the next games that I'm going to pick, the New York Jets traveling to Jacksonville to take on the Jaguars. And they played an ugly game last week. Blake Bortles was, hey, Blake Bortles. Now, Sam Darnold and the Jets played a brutal game too. But let's face it, Baker Mayfield and the Cleveland Browns, they were due for a win. They've been playing a lot better, and they got it at the expense of the New York Jets. Now the Jets go on to Jacksonville to face that defense. Donald is not ready for this defense. They're going to beat him up. They have no running game really to speak of. Their receivers are mediocre. Now you can say that about Jacksonville as well, but Jacksonville is battle-tested. They went to the FC Championship game. They know how to play these type of beat em up rock em sock em games. I would expect Wolves to lay another egg. And let's face it, they had to come down after beating the Patriots the week prior. So I'm going to go Jacksonville 20, New York Jets 13 in that one. Speaking of the Pats, they will be at home playing the Miami Dolphins. Excuse me, the first place Miami Dolphins. The 3-0 and Miami Dolphins. The Ryan Tannehill-led Miami Dolphins. And let's be fair, Ryan Tannehill has played very well this year so far under Adam Gaze's um, tutelage. He has done everything that has been asked of him. They are getting their best receiver back, um, Devontae Parker. And let's face it, the, um, the Miami defense has actually overachieved, as far as I'm concerned. I mean, they always have a decent pass rush with Cameron Wake and Robert Quinn. But they have played better than anyone ever thought that they would play this year. The Pats, you see, they've been mediocre at best. And we saw them get stomped on. Now, this is the time where the Pats start to turn it on. Where everybody starts to doubt them a little bit. Oh, they're not the same team. And now you're hearing, oh, Rob Kronkowski is a a step or two slow. Well, damn it. I mean, he's never been fast anyway. Who cares? I mean, he's bigger and stronger than everybody else. He's the best tight end in football. Give me a break. The Pats are going to play well. And I can't, you know I hate him. You know I can't stand Brady. I can't stand Belichick. But give credit where it's due. When it comes to games like this, this is a statement game. When they see little teams like, um, the Miami Dolphins try to rise up. I mean, nice little 3-0 start. Now they're going to bring them back down to earth in Foxborough. Now, if they were playing in Miami, I, would, I might give the Dolphins a decent shot. But here, oh, Pat's going to blow these guys out. I have no problem with this one. New England 31, Miami 20. That's my choice on that one. Now, Cleveland is going to go to Oakland to play the Raiders. John Gruden, that, that team's a mess. I mean, they, they are the classic find ways to lose team. 
Baker Mayfield has them on cloud nine. Cleveland has a little, you know what, they, they're going to win about seven, eight games. And this Baker Mayfield, I think, is a little better than, than I, he's better than I thought he'd be. I thought he was a overhyped Johnny Manziel, but you know what, he's a true leader. Baker Mayfield's one of those guys that he, he's easy to follow. He, he's an easy guy to, to, to run with. He, he, you want to play for him. You want to do your best with him. You can see his leadership qualities. And let's face it, Derek Carr has none of those. And he has a big arm. And he can't make all the throws, but there's just something about Derek Carr that just says, I'm going to be a mediocre quarterback. Marshawn Lynch has actually ran the ball pretty well. They don't run it enough. And let's face it, to me, the most overrated coach in pro football has been and will always be John Gruden. He stinks. I'm sorry. Boy, they talk about old uh, Mike Tomlin living off of Bill Cowers, guys. Please, no one has been more of a scavenger than John Gruden living off of Tony Dungy's guys. And I don't see the Raiders winning here. I like Cleveland. Yes, Cleveland. 24 to 20 over the Oakland Raiders. Now, I'm going to wait knowing that I'm I'm a Steeler fan even though I am upset at the team for the way they handled Le'Veon Bell. I will go over that game in another um upload that I'm going to do later on. But um as we know the Steelers will be playing their hated rivals the Baltimore Ravens. I'm going to hold off on that game. Now we'll go to the Monday night game, which is the Kansas City Chiefs going to Denver to play the Broncos. Pat Mahomes versus Case Keenum. Gee, wonder who I'm picking. Listen, I understand Denver's defense. Vaughn Miller can wreck this game. There's no question about that. Will, will he wreck the game? I doubt it because the forgotten guy in this Kansas City offense because now they have the triplets now. See, the Steelers had the triplets until they screwed up the Le'Veon Bell thing. Now Kansas City does. Because Mahomes has the big arm. Tyreek Hill is the fastest guy in pro football. But the forgotten man is one Kareem Hunt, who led the NFL in rushing. And I think he's going to have a big game. I like Tyreek Hill. I like this Kansas City offense. They're a, they're a more dynamic, much better team than they were last year. Now, when it comes to the playoffs, they could still lose because Mahomes is... I don't know if Mahomes is ready for the playoffs. And we know how Andy Reid gets down to playoffs. He can't win a big game to save his freaking life. But, that being said, it's a regular season game. It's early. It's Kansas City. It's Denver. And worse for Denver, it's Case Keenum who's going to be exposed. He's just not that good. Now, Kansas City's defense has a lot um, of work to do, but they'll get it done this time. I like Kansas City 37-20 to 20 over the Denver Broncos. And those are my NFL Picks Week 4. Please like and subscribe, ladies and gentlemen. This is Claude Sports Corner. Take care and God bless.